Should we sit in it? I think so. Here are those bungees here. Oh! oh, oh. How cool is that? So 13 and a half. 13 and a half, seven. That's almost, that's like six inches. That's six and a half inches of travel. That's a lot. My bungee needs to stretch uh, three inches. So let's see, we're gonna stretch three inches. That's what I want. So I'll make my things four inches apart somewhere up there. That's good, that'll work. I don't wanna go above three. Okay, so I'm gonna make these four inches apart. Place them somewhere on this. I had an idea, which I may later on do, which I probably won't. We'll see how well this works. But this has an adjustment for how fast and slow this comes out. So that's kind of fast. And if we want to slow it down, it'd be like, look how much slower that is. So I could put this here somewhere, and that would limit it from uh, going so fast out. And it also would help going, going in too. Something of that nature. Okay, let's get busy. Not bad for the first one. Three, four, 3.5. That's pretty cool. I actually have lighter gear. Now it doesn't include the bungees or all the bolts. So I'm guessing I probably still will be a tiny bit lighter or about the same weight. Pretty stoked. Success. The next step Figuring out how to put this, I think this is 5 8 axle to this inch and a quarter uh, sleeve. A uh, couple options, I could lay out a bushing that goes over that and I'll just weld the bushing right to that. So then I basically slide this in there and pin it there. That's probably pretty heavy. The other option is get a plate that it bolts on to this flange here and I'll weld, I'll drill a hole in that plate and weld the axle to that plate. So basically the axle bolts on. I don't think that's the strongest. Um, I believe that would be the lightest. So I don't know. So I'm gonna think about it and uh, try to figure this out. The other thing I have to figure out is the uh, disc brake, uh, mountain bike brakes, how that's all gonna mount up. And yeah, so I have some, some things to do. Here we go. See if it fits. Dun, 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 dun. What is going on here? Just a little bit more. <laughs> Hey babe, I've been doing all this research. Looks like we need to get a Nord VPN. 
Is that the app that protects your privacy and credentials while on the internet? Yeah, apparently it has a feature that can save you a buttload of money on plane tickets and hotel reservations. What? Really? Yeah, these companies are increasing their prices for returning visitors, hoping they'll make a purchase out of fear that the prices will go up again. Well, that's just crazy. I know. We need this NordVPN. We sure do. And all you viewers need to get it too. All you need to do is install NordVPN app, connect to a server in a different country, browse the service providers and jot down their prices. Clean your browser's cache to prevent service providers from identifying you as a returning user. Connect to a different country and check out the holiday service providers prices again. So does this mean we can go to our little trip to Hawaii? Yeah, Marge, we can go to Hawaii since we're saving all this money. You guys can save money too because NordVPN has an exclusive deal on a two-year plan right here. And they have Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Thank you, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video. Helps us make more content for you guys. Just gotta get it started. Look straight. Put some oil on there. Well, this works. I don't, I mean, you definitely don't want it too tight, but you don't want it too loose. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't pop off. That'd suck. That's pretty loose. Hmm. I don't like it. All right, one down, four to go. Finally get it off this stupid sawhorse. Drop test number one. One, two, three. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Should we sit in it? I think so. Here we those bungees here. Oh. Holy cremolis! I guess we know that they're not strong enough. That didn't work. I'm gonna wrap them tighter. Don't fall. Please don't fall. Oh, it's trying to fall. <laughs> that was dumb. Alright, let's do this tight. Yeah, I kinda like that, huh? I think the next thing to do, ah, I gotta hook up the brakes. I gotta hook up these brakes. A bracket or something on off the rudder pedal and then my toe is going to operate the mountain bike lever with my toe. I think it will work. I hope it will. It would be nice to be able to slide this up and down. You got an angle, I don't know, or maybe just up and down. Hmm. I kind of pushed up. It feels like I have to go up versus pushing in. I think we're going to get it. So we got it all welded up. I was gonna put one going here.
Well, the brakes work actually pretty good. The left one does. The right one, um, it, it needs more fluid, I think. And I need to tighten the bungees because uh, I'm already like squatting down. Doesn't look much better. I gotta tighten those bungees way more. Dang. I almost think this bungee material is just not the tough stuff, which is kind of sad. So I gotta get better bungee material. That is, I think for sure. So this had a top fairing, which would basically guide the air through the top of the cylinders and then out. It is missing. I've tried to find, locate it. So I have to make my own. That's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna cover this with some plastic and then put a piece of foam here, shape it so it has like the same inlet as outlet. Hopefully that works. Here we go. Perfect. Goes through and escapes and cools the engine. If you guys remember, but I was having cooling problems. Uh, the last flight I had when I almost went into those uh, light beacon things. Pretty hot. Oh my gosh, he's all over. Oh God. resin will not stick to the plastic. Pretty light too. All right, now we'll just trim it up, paint it, drill some holes for the spark plugs, and it's ready to go on. And my engine will stay cool, hopefully. Just had these beautiful cables made. I say they turned out quite well. I even made my own tabs. They're safety cables. So basically, if this bungee decides to let loose, this will hopefully catch it and I won't completely squash my airplane. That's the idea behind these. I got one for each side. Well, it basically is gonna be something like, like that. That way, all the air doesn't just go in cool the back cylinder. Gear is on, bungees are on, brakes work. That was a mission to get this all set up. And uh, now I'm ready to go fly it. I'm super stoked. Last time I flew this, things took a turn for the worst. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. And uh, yeah, you guys are gonna have to tune into the next video. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button if you wanna check that one out because I'm gonna go fly it right now. But I'm ending this video now. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks. Bye.